we've got Devin up here. He's going to do hacking into a crypto payment gateway. Pretty exciting stuff. I would like to ask everybody, just as a reminder, when the speaker is speaking, there, of course, we can still have discussions and stuff, but let's try to keep it down a little bit. If there's a super involved discussion, we ask that you take it outside the village out of respect for everybody else that's here. So, that, yeah, all you people talking. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Shh. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you, Devin, for coming here. Let's everyone give him a hand. He's going to present to us Hacking a Crypto Payment Gateway. Cool, thank you. Uh, can you all hear me fine? Yeah, uh, right there. Uh, um, cool. Well, I'm, I'm Devin. Um, I'll be speaking to you. It's, it's a bit of a catfish title. Um, I work at the Crypto Gateway, so um, it's, it's more about hardware hacking um, and, and connecting crypto to um, devices. Um, so yeah, to get on to it, um, I have notes there, those should not be showing. Um, sorry, give me one second. Cool. Um, so, so basically, we're finding that, you know, Charlie Schrem said uh, Bitcoin is, is cash with wings. And um, with that, I felt that we don't have enough devices in the world that really take crypto. Um, it's really, it's, it's, it's currently very much a, a person to person. Um, you know, we've, we've got crypto gateways like ourselves uh, at Globy that is, is really trying to enhance um, where you can use your crypto, making it a little bit more transactional. Um, so yeah, basically, um, if we look at, at who Globy is, uh, it's a cryptocurrency gateway. Um, we're, we, we are really trying to make it a lot easier for, for your devices and for you know, any sort of um, shops, that sort of stuff, to be able to take crypto. And um, we're, we're, we're making it a lot easier to, to integrate uh, these payment services into any of your, your sites, devices. Um, we, we offer, we have nine currencies currently that we, we accept. We try and stay a lot with the, with the, the, the stable currencies. Um, we, we don't necessarily do the ICO coins, that sort of stuff. Uh, we try and stay away from those. Um, and then, like, we've got plugins for everything from uh, Shopify to uh, some of the WooCommerce systems, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Then uh, I wanted to say more, um, how do we make transactions more, I mean, crypto more transactional, by basically allowing more services to, um, that sort of self-service uh, devices to, to adopt. Um, these transactions um, and um, basically allowing people to use their favorite coins, particularly like Monero, um, you know, other ones like Bitcoin. Um, and, and ultimately is to push more towards a, more business to business transactions. Um, we find, especially in the, 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 our current environment, that we have a lot of businesses that said, like, that's great, we would love to take it, but our merchant, you know, who we're paying doesn't want to take it. So like if we could close that loop, we would have more transactions, I reckon, um, with that. So yeah, why a payment processor? Um, ultimately, when I joined Globy, I thought it was like a bit of a, um, we've got all of these technologies that are decentralized and then we're sort of centralizing it again. And, um, but it really, really helps businesses and, and any sort of real world objects to um, go through a service that will uh, help you with your nodes, helps you with all the technical requirements that um, uh, running a payment system requires, um, helps you with a lot of the, the security, that sort of stuff as well, and uh, ultimately reduces your risk. Um, then, um, yeah, um, accept your payments. Um, basically, 
So just going to have some water there. So to get to what I, I, I've actually come here to talk about in terms of, of, of making devices take payments. Um, sorry, my first talk ever. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, what, what, I, what I looked at doing was, was, was taking devices, um, particularly, like, say, coin acceptors, um, and was to sort of replicate what you're doing with this in terms of these these coin actions that that happen uh you you're putting in a coin and it's obviously the machine understands the pulses that are coming out of that but it doesn't necessarily understand any other form of of system you would have to either r change the whole motherboard change the whole system to be able to take these new technologies i felt that like if we could replicate a, a lot of these acceptors we could then just ultimately put like a, a Raspberry Pi screen um, with with a whole payment system on there that would then take your payments. You could jimmy that into almost any machine without having to do any soldering, any other work that ultimately would um, put a lot of hours into to changing these machines. So I, I went through that process of, of, of changing that coin acceptor to um, or replicating that coin acceptor, and basically, with that, uh, I have the system. It's it's operational. That I wasn't able to bring the the, the full arcade here. That um, you can pay with crypto, and then it just ultimately looks like a coin has been inserted in the machine. Um, that that makes. Uh, makes it changing all of these devices much simpler than than um, having to, to to build in a new system. Um, I was going to run through uh, basically uh, what it entailed to to set up like a, a point of sales, um, but oh man, I actually um, I'm on the wrong machine here. <laughs> Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Uh. I was gonna do a whole demo. I actually realized that I'm on somebody else's machine. Mine, as you can see, there's a bit of um, uh, uh, glitches with the system. So basically, if you were gonna sign up for an account and you want to test the stuff out, I mean, you could do it right here. You'd go to test.globy.com. You'd sign up for a test account. Um, you would need your Bitcoin or XMR, um, like a, a, an address for your settlements through the system. And then basically, um, yeah, like uh, BDC and, and Monero, their, um, their GUIs do quite well with, uh, with test nets. Um, so it's, it's quite quick to change over. Um, uh, I've, I've listed a couple of faucets. Um, to get these test coins that you want to use on the test system, um, found in in the environments before, it's it's quite hard to to come come by uh, test coins to to uh, yeah test out the system. Um, the code's up on it's it's listed as PyPay. Um, I've I've basically we've got the whole system there. It's actually a, a fully working point of sales that can be modified to to working on the Raspberry Pi and other devices. Um, if you download that, you run it, I was gonna show a, a demo of that uh, with a payment. Um, that basically is, is a full system that you could, you could put into any hardware um, that, that runs, uh, can run NPM, um, basically Node. Um, yeah, and then on our system, we just, um, yeah, you just generate an API key, really simple stuff, just put it into the system and it, it will run. Um, yeah, and then um, further from this, uh, with me not having this working demo, um, I'd like to, to have more vending machines that I've set up with different coin acceptors, that sort of stuff that would take different, uh, would change over different applicators and um, we could see it in, in a, 
working in a much better environment of uh, a um, so uh, yeah i'd like to 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 change up a, a couple of vending machines from um paying uh your parking to you know just the the crane machines like the the similar one to the what i've got at home and um with that as well uh, refunding is is a bit of an issue um haven't really put in a system just yet that if you've paid you can't um you, you can't use the machine um, I, I, I have no way of refunding at the moment. Uh, that that would be something that I would uh, I would want to add. And then um, yeah, as I said, more acceptors. You know, we've got the the, the note readers. Um, you've got the the different ones that are um, uh, the, you know the RFIDs. That sort of stuff is is try and replicate all of them, so that it's really simple to change over to to take encrypto on any machine. Um, that's that would be the ultimate goal. Yeah, and then um, uh, ultimately, yeah. If any of you guys want to speak to me, I, I, I'll be happy to do the demo uh, to anybody who asks. Uh, I'd have to just put it up on the machine and and, and put it up on the desk, um, and then I can talk through those. Um, yeah, with without that that working demo, it's, it really uh, it shortens this talk drastically. Um, yeah, ultimately, that is that is it from me. Um, on on yeah, on on changing machines to to take crypto, um, yeah. Cool. Sorry, it's so short. <laughs> and where where will you be if they want to run with you with the demo? Um, I will be at the the back there, or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, Paul. Um, I, I, particularly if um, I, I, I've, I've looked at, at ways of either um, having having the the payment uh, that it, it requires that you you put in that that uh, refund address when you when you pay for it um, that that's a possibility. Otherwise, I'd have to embed like a camera um, into the system, either with a Raspberry Pi that sort of stuff, and that could read the the QR code and um, get the address and, and pay back, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, I, I'll, I'll happily show you that at the back. Um, what actually happened is my machine wouldn't connect to the, to the, um, the system here, and I'm on someone else's machine. It's, it doesn't have all the tools and, and whatnot that I... I do require to show that. Yeah. Cool. Anyone else? Matt? Sweet. Sorry. Thanks for uh, for coming to listen. <laughs>